I've been looking at this from the wrong lens all this time. The truth of the matter is, I've needed y'all all of this time for the duration of this journey. I'm going to need you guys. Fuck a consulting firm. Haters highlight your weaknesses. And if you're smart, you're like, oh, that's a good point. I do have bad calves. I better start working on my calves. Thank you for that feedback. Now I kick your ass because you pointed out my weakness. What a great consultant. We don't need a consulting firm. We just need to hire new haters. Thankful for y'all. Firing squad, arm yourselves. Lock and load. Haters, come on, man. It's your captain speaking, Jimmy Marr. I'm here with the motherfucking Admiral, G Money. What's up, haters? Let's go, man. I used to hate y'all niggas. Sometimes you gotta talk to the creator. I love y'all. Just a couple questions. Go ahead, Oslo. Let's go. Yo, I wanna know where crisis when I'm in the crisis and why I lean on other devices. I'm sick of living wicked one day. Next minute I'm righteous. Just tell me what the meaning of life I is. Ain't you made me with a purpose. Why work? Can I just do that? How I take a step forward just to take two back. What's the lesson? I'm trying to learn, but I'm sick of guessing. If I'm human, why you asking for perfection? You said before the I'll world try. you chose me. I don't feel so lucky. If I'm so wonderfully made, why I feel so ugly? How is sin so wicked when it feels so lovely? Guess my question is, do you still love me? How you see I us know in this chaos do. and got the power to change it and won't? I would do it if I could, but I can't because I don't. Then he told me, keep faith. The answer is hope. Keep walking, I'm enhancing your growth. You so close to begin to know. to the end Unless you went somewhere else you i saw you in it you know I, yeah, you were there I was, I, yeah and i felt horrible for everybody else because there was no beat in their head they was like what's going on there what up fire squad it's your motherfucking captain jimmy mar man the admiral's on deck drinking motherfucking energy drinks Here. yep i ever tell you a story about the kid that drank like all these monster energy <laughs> drinks at warp tour with yes. me oh my god that's what you remind me rock of right star now. right rock star rockstar energy. energy drinks they were actually mo yeah mo monster stuff oh, they were monsters? but oh, okay. mo rockstar energy they were a part of the um tour monster oh, all that okay. shit they it was all the same cocaine liquid <laughs> oh my god ah it's a lot been going on it's a lot been going on all right and I want to say this. Everyone take a, 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 a pause, a, a reset, calm, slow down, like like set the play up again, okay? How do they get with the basketball be running up the court? <laughs> Loose cannon, point guard, nigga nut. He ain't passing the ball to nobody, but he wouldn't call a play. <laughs> I don't know what this is coming up the court. With a nigga coming up the court with the hand up. I don't even know what that is. What that says to me, whenever I see a point guard come up the court with his finger up in the air, dribbling the ball, is that he about to go nut, <laughs> okay? So what I'm asking y'all is to chill out, relax, reset. The world is a little extra right now. And, and, and guess what? It's going to get more extra. It's going to get more extra, man. Our haters, 
Let's talk about those people, those entities for a moment. We 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 oh we we would we used to despise them. I, mean, I say used to because it's perspective. I can be annoyed with them. You know, like it's like shoot fly, don't bother me, shoot fly, don't bother me, shoot fly, don't bother me. Uh, something, something with somebody. Something like go go play <laughs> with somebody else. I'm busy. Like, uh, you know, but you have to look at it from a different lens. When you got a hater. That means that they're always talking about you. And let me tell you something. Niggas are going to always say all kind of wild shit about me. But you know what I know? I'm on y'all niggas' minds. I'm, 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 y'all niggas is talking about me. You know what I mean? Um, I don't, I, you know, y'all build these tall tales about me and you build this legend within your tall tales. It's not me, man. I swear to God to y'all. It's not me, man. Um, if you get to know who the fuck I am, you'd be like, wow, yo, this thing is interesting. I'm like, like when you see me, you already like, oh, I know who this thing is. But then when you hear me talk, <laughs> You're gonna be. You're like, wait a moment. What's going on here? Don't, 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 don't trick me here, Mister. What are you up to? You know. But nah, man. This is really who I am. You know. Um, don't get it fucked up. Uh, but I, I'm still me. This is me. I, I, the black guy that 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 that, that dudes out. You know what <laughs> I mean? I like the dude out, man. You know, and I. I, let me tell you something about me. I I humbly respect all of you haters. Continue to talk your shit about me. Do whatever you have to do. You niggas don't affect my world whatsoever, man. Um, and I say that to say to y'all, don't let them affect yours. Utilize, take their power away from them. Allow them to promote you however they choose to. Let them help build your legend. It doesn't matter what you want your legend to be. The legend's going to be what it's going to be. So let them help build the process. Don't take any of that shit personal. Although I know what it feels like. I know you, you be like, I should smack the shit out of this nigga. But I, we're still on, and I'm still on the clock for, like, another four hours. And actually, this is the lunch, nigga. So he go be making the Franks. So I can't, <laughs> I, you know, I got a whole list, you know. But don't, 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 don't smack the shit out of him. Don't be annoyed. Thank him. Um, um, bring mustard to the, to the, to the cafeteria, you know, and let him know you're going to enjoy the Franks. You know, you're 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 a team player, if you will, fucker. <laughs> Fuck it. No, no, I'm just saying, man. You know, I'm really trying to be cool, haters. To, but try to find another activity. Like, do you think you still got nothing else better to do? Like, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Am I bugging? No, you're not. I mean, that's some people's thing. Like, people can't draw or play music or play sports. Their thing is being a fucking hater. You know, so that's. Let me say something. How the fuck can you not draw? <laughs> I know how to do mad stick figure drawings, dog. I remember a nigga <laughs> drew a picture with Jennifer um 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 Love Hewitt and um the other Jennifer. And I'm not saying he was the best artist, but it was an awesome picture. I gotta <laughs> find that picture, man. I gotta find that picture and post it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find that picture and post <laughs> it. But you know, do something else, man. Be great at something else. It's the summertime. Don't you want to do something awesome? <laughs> Besides lose weight by accident, I gained a lot of weight, nigga. Yeah, you've been uh, you've been strict on yourself lately. At least when I've been around about not eating certain shit and being 
being good about that. Yeah, because I I, 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 I got crazy, started breathing and and uh-huh. thinking thinking other people are in the room with me and it's just <laughs> me. I was like, yo, hold the fuck up, man. What's happening here? Gotta stop that shit before it get crazy. I can only imagine what what she hearing when I'm snoring at night when I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I know that snore is like wild, nigga. <laughs> When you when you lost a lot of weight the first time, was that like all just on working out, or you were up north when you when you did that, or it was like no, after? that's when I came home. That's when I you came, came home, home and you started losing all the weight. I already started working out when I was coming home, but I, I had to get small. I was like three hundred and some change, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like I, mm-mm, mm-mm. I felt sorry for you know the women that I used to just be having sex with at that time, dog. You know, laying over them, it's like Jabba the Hutt mounting them. You know, that's my stomach, getting that all up in there. And then the breathing. (sighs) And I don't even want to talk about the sweat. You you know what it's like when a bitch got to wear scuba diving gear (laughs) to just give you some pussy, bro? Yeah, that's how fat and sweaty I was, bro. I was sweat puddles. Every time I would have sex, I would have to change the sheets <laughs> and flip the bed. Yeah, man. Yeah. Unless it was just the same person, you know what I mean? <laughs> we were relaxed inside the juices of the essence of whatever we were in the midst of. What's the matter with you, G-Money? <laughs> Nothing. That's okay. Hey, what's it? That's funny. <laughs> no, it's not. It's real, man. <laughs> I mean, why would you want to turn this shit over and just down someone else when they come <laughs> and you 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 scuba sweat them out? <laughs> they got to deal with it. Come on, man. Nobody want that. Everybody get their turn with a flip mattress. <laughs> come on. Yo, go. Help me flip this, yo. <laughs> ah, there we go. Chill. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, man. Summertime is in full effect. Gun violence is at an all-time high in New York. Niggas is out here shooting, doing dumb shit. It doesn't make you a gangster. It doesn't make you a gangster. You niggas is losing the priority of what is gangster. Don't let this rap music, man. And y'all niggas know, man. Niggas know what it is. I love niggas. I, right now, I, I think Chicago. Here I and I'm talking about no gun violence, and yet it's still I'm in love with Chicago drill music right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I cannot help it. But my favorite, he's not he's not from motherfucking Chicago. But I man, I love him all the same. I think he's like my favorite little 42 Doug. 42 Doug. 42 Doug. That little that little buddy. That little guy. I love him, man. I I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, you know, got it. He's just a gr I don't first of all, a music fire. Mm-hmm. You know, um, him and the other one, uh, E E G E S T E S T G. Oh my God, those things, they're they're a part of the gun violence. They're, they're, <laughs> their music is helping the gun violence escalate. I ain't being shooter. You ain't shooter. If I shoot at you, <laughs> we we were listening to uh, the five E O four and song uh, "City of Gods," and you said that you're like this song is da- this song is gonna get people killed this summer. You said yeah. that when that song first came yeah. out. Yeah. Cause this nigga Fabio said it. Uh, 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 police is coming. We not stopping. Stop. <laughs> police coming. We not stopping, man. Do you understand what how, <laughs> how alarming that is? Because normally people they, they think that. Well, you know, if I could just keep them at bay until the police yeah. get here, yeah. wait know? till the cops come. Yeah, you, know, you know, you know. Yeah. Hey, you know all right, they'll be able to get them off me and up. I don't know what that is, 
I don't know what people out here. Nah, <laughs> nah, man, nah, man. Uh-uh. There's this big thing going on in the news right now about uh, a brother, God bless his soul, assaulted and attacked a bodega owner. Mm. And the bodega owner stabbed the nigga in the neck in self-defense. Older man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's an uproar about the the district attorney charging uh, the bodega owner. And the mayor's not cool about it either. Yeah, right? Eric yeah, Adams is not yeah. Happy I mean, about it. here's the thing. For every action, there's a reaction, man. You going in there hot to rough up an old man for your girl. Obviously, it wasn't that real because, my G, let me say something. If if you violated any of my women in my life, my mommy, my sisters, my woman, you know, uh, and my wife. I'm like, <laughs> look at you, you fucking crazy. What? I, <laughs> not, anyway, <laughs> um, you know, you, you, you. I'm not, I'm not, com I'm not coming to tussle with you. We checking out. We checking out, man. Like, I, I, niggas really don't know what beef is. Niggas really don't know what beef is, but I'm not saying the brother deserved what he got, but the brother got what he put himself in the midst of. That's a consequence of what you're doing. That's yeah, one of three man. things that could happen, you know, or one of a couple <sighs> things that it's, it's on there, you know. It's, yo, you can't rule it out. Yo, 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 man. You know, my my big bro, Corey Holcomb, uh fifty one fifty all day. Um, he always he be trying to talk to me about me and my energy and me interacting and getting involved and yo, this is why you gotta bring it down. If you're not coming to, to, to end it all, it's not worth it, man. And then it's the it's heat, the hotness and the bullshit. Ah oh, man, but that still doesn't stop me from loving forty two Doug. <laughs> I I I'm a huge I I love his music. And you know who else I like? Hot boy. Hot boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, little dark skin nigga with the uh, with the little um uh, little dreadlock. Yeah, I don't cone. know what that. Yeah, that cone. Look, That's a little good dreadlock cone. That little crazy motherfucker. Oh man, nigga, yeah. I I like him too. He got a little ah, ah, thing he does before he start rubbing. Ah, ah, ah. I don't know what it is. I don't know, I don't know what that shit is. Those Florida rappers are fucking no, different. No, They're all fucking. They are, and I I love that. Yeah. I don't want nothing to say. I don't want nothing to say for uh, Kodak Black. You know and that little gremlin. We don't need to add the super. You know, we'll just keep it grim. You know, Lynn. You know, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Him and Hot Boy got a song out right now. That's my shit. I get right in with me. <laughs> hey, yo. That shit is fire. That bass come in. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, uh, yo. And. Oh, and then they locking all my little favorite rappers up right now, man. They got 42 Doug. They got a motherfucking hot boy right now, too. Oh, really? Yeah, for a Rico charge. Young boy just uh, beat his case. Who? Um, NBA, NBA young boy. Oh, what? Yo, yeah. give him a gun salute, man. Give him, give, give him a gun salute. Fire in the hole. One more, man. Come on, bro. That's what I'm talking about, NBA young boy. 
Ah, oh, man, but he's saying some heat with the old niggas, man. Yeah. He got that thing going on with Lil Boosie and shit, man. You know, I, I, I love me some NBA young boy, but I love the OG Boosie. I love him. He honest. Yeah. He's honest. No one accepted it the other way. <laughs> He just while we're on Boosie, he he got into a uh, he got pulled over the other day, and I think he got handcuffed. I don't know if he got arrested, but uh, I have that video that I was probably not going to use for G Money Talk, but I have it if you want to check that out. Uh, no, nah, I don't like to highlight no. those attributes about why they yeah. always fucking with Lil Boosie, man. Yeah. I like when he's doing dope shit, yeah. like playing with the kids and doing, shit, you know, or you know, making a, a bitch pull out her pussy lips on his <laughs> like give her ten thousand dollars right now if you put her pussy lips on Yo, he crazy man they had to get him off instagram did they- we watch the video where he was asking for a deer hitter <laughs> he wanted someone wanted to hire someone to uh, kill all the deer oh on his my prom- god I, yes we did watch that because no, it's but it's legal where they are yeah, you know yeah, yeah no. he wasn't being malicious no. oh my god man I want to say something, man. To all my niggas in the hood, if you out here this summer, dog, everybody got a gun. Everybody in their mama got a gun right now. Now you got a license to conceal a weapon. Listen to me. I challenge you niggas. I challenge you niggas to take it back to motherfucking 1988. If you got a problem with somebody, you got a beef with somebody, and y'all niggas want to take it to the stacks, let's see who really know how to fight out here, dog. Fuck a gun. Fuck a knife. Fuck a bat. All right, you can use a bat (laughs) or a stick. You know what I mean? Um, Like a good stick ball stick. For some reason, you feel like Luke Skywalker. (laughs) I don't know, but fuck the guns this summer. Let's see who know how to fight. This is what I'm talking about right here. Man, if y'all not feeling this, then y'all niggas is a part of the problem, man. And this is real shit right here. Like, we got to start getting right, people. If it ain't about this, I, 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 I don't want no parts of it. Come on, press play. Oh, he dropped it. Unit moving in portable storage simplifies local moving and helps you deal with mismatched closing dates. Unit delivers a clean, weather resistant, all steel container that you can load at your convenience. Units can pick up your container and bring it back to its local client. <laughs> Come on, man. And hey, he could have did more to him. That's like when Cat Williams attacked me and I could have I could really fucked that nigga up, man. You know what I'm saying? But you, he could have did some things to that man, bro. Mm-hmm. But I love how they ended. I love how they ended. That was a smart way for that nigga to end yeah. that shit. After you whooped the nigga out. Yo, yo, come here. Yo, yo, you good? Yeah. <laughs> come here, beloved. We good. I can't turn my back on you and not feel good, nigga. I just duffed you out. I can't. But yeah, shit, nigga. Yeah, I dare y'all niggas to want to fight this summer. I dare y'all niggas to want to fight with your fists and your feet, your elbows and your knee, like Karate D. Yeah, from 129th <laughs> and Lennox Avenue and Fifth Ave. Yeah, Karate D. Yeah, that nigga had to, that nigga roundhouse kicked the bitch in the face one time that attacked her with her boy, that attacked him with her boyfriend. And he didn't even mean to roundhouse kick her. <laughs> I, I'm dead serious, yo, Karate D, doc. He, he still wear karate slippers to this day. Word. Roundhouse kick. Yo, yo, Kanika, when he roundhouse kicked the dog, that shit was so clean, bro. <laughs> That shit was like a straight movie shot, like contact and all. She was laced. Boyfriend, he knocked him out, too. Oh, shit. Like, after he came down with the kick, he lunged forward with a punch and punched the nigga in the neck somewhere <laughs> and knocked both of them out. 
And then the nigga had the audacity to take his karate gi off and make like some sort of a comfort of a pillow <laughs> so Kanika could put her head on it. I, I will never forget this shit, bro. Yo, Karate B, I dare y'all niggas to want to fight this summer. Shout out to all my niggas that's still out here doing your calisthenics. Shout out to Styles P. Shout out to fucking Styles P out here motherfucking getting workout centers and, and, and programs for kids in the parks up in Yonkers. Yeah. Yeah, get right, y'all. Keep getting in shape. I dare y'all niggas to want to fight this summer, man. Put the guns down, you fucking cowards. We got women and kids out here, babies. What's up with fighting? You can't. You could shoot a nigga. And, 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 and get praised by your niggas. But you were afraid to fight a nigga and get downed by your niggas? Let me tell you something, homie. Those aren't your niggas. And that's a fact. For all you niggas out here, I'm the shooter. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. What else we got, man? Shout out to those brothers, man, keeping it clean. What we got? What we got here? What we got? Oh, all right. Yo, you want to set this up? You um, you, you set it up. I'm going to say this. Last thing. You want to be in the midst of is your so-called happy place, but seem to be lost and confused, and out of nowhere, you get a wake-up call that was unwarranted. Yeah. <laughs> I know y'all niggas heard that. <laughs> Yo, press play. Oh, oh shit. That's, that's just too clean. You got to see the angle. <laughs> Can we catch that angle, bro? Yeah. How did you get some of that forehead? Go ahead. <laughs> oh, that was, that was like an angle of the forehead, not the forehead. That was an angle, but that shit. Should... When I first watched it, I thought it was a beer can. For those who can't see nah, the audio listeners, nah. it's a, they're at like a fair or like yeah, kind of like flea yeah. market. But this... that shit's a wine bottle, my nigga. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Son. Like a tin water bottle or a... Nah, that ain't no tin it's nothing. Tin. That's one of those That's cup glass. holders. That's oh. one of those cup holders that be having New York Giants or Cincinnati Bengals on it. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I don't know. Listen to it. Listen, listen to it. Maybe we can find out what it is. Come on. Oh. Stop. It's the way the crowd responded. I'm going to go with that shit was a bottle of some sort. And the hollow echo, that bung, and that crowd... Ooh, but look how life works. He was lost. He was dazed. <laughs> he was trying to figure out what should I be doing with my life right now? Where am I? Where Where should I be? Look at him. Watch. <laughs> it gave him direction. It gave him direction, but that sound. It's that sound and the crowd's reaction on cue. You would have thought this was all in a movie. And the director said, and action, play it one more time. Watch how the crowd sounds after you hear that 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 hollow that that thing. <laughs> Who started that? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I think about those kind of things. It was involuntary. <laughs> Ooh, yo, 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 yo. I can't just, I, I couldn't have just said, ooh. <laughs> That's just, I would have, ooh, yo. Yeah, you would have went up to the guy. Yo, yeah, I got involved. I would have got really involved because you know 
That nigga, the side of his face looked like a sea turtle. <laughs> One of those shits from fucking that helped Dora and the, the clownfish find the little other clownfish. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is, G Money Talk! <laughs> I'm spitting 16 mini lines from a 603. G Money, what you got for me? Come on, come on. G Money, what you got for me? We got Jimmy over there in the Buffalo plan. Hey! And in the Buffalo stance. Come on, G Money, what you got for me? It's the 30 minute mark. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. All right. Shout out to Josh as always for that. And, uh,. Shout out to, we're going to start with shouting out Styles P this week. You just shouted out Styles P, and I thought I had the video queued up for what you were about to say, but um, what, he, what? he was in the uh, the news for another reason this week. Oh, mm. go ahead. And, uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll double tap on that afterwards. Yeah. And uh, he saw he saw something wrong out in, out in the streets, and he stepped in like, like a fucking, I was going to say like just a regular guy, but not like a regular guy. He fucking... Stepped up like in a way that you really don't see. A real G, yeah, like a real G, man. We got it. Go ahead, press play, man. Yeah, yeah, you're breaking. Hello, hello. Yo, I'm under arrest. 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 That's a female. That's a female too, man. I'm under arrest. I'm under arrest. He's a bitch. I know he's. No, I'm keep recording. I'm recording. No, keep recording. I have man. the cameras on because you didn't Yo, sister, loosen up. Loosen up. Loosen up. Please, loosen. Please, please, sister, please, please, please. No, you're a hoe, That's girl. a girl, too, by the you're way. You're a fucking hoe, man. That's a girl, by the way. Bro, and I got you on bitch. camera. I hope you got me on you're camera. You're a whole bitch. I'm going to back up. Don't touch me. I hope you, you got me on too. camera. Yeah, you scared too. I hope you got this on camera. You be, you I hope got, back I, yeah, you need a backup. You keep running up. You, you need a backup, Mr. Keep recording me. You need a backup. Keep recording me. You need a backup. You need a backup. You need a backup. You need a backup. That's a female. That's a female. That's a female. Have your cameras on. That's a female. That's a fucking female. That's a fucking female. You a bitch, nigga. I saw that uniform. You know what you want. You know what you want. You know exactly what you want. Y'all know who the fuck y'all are. Y'all know exactly who the fuck y'all are. You know exactly who you are. Whole bitch. Whole entire bitch. Y'all probably just graduated from high school. You're scared. You're not from around. You're fucking nervous. That's crazy. And you scared of I just told him when he got out the water with the other gay girl. They don't talk about gay girls. Not guys. They don't talk about guys. Y'all talking about gay girls. Girls. Fucking girls. A fucking girl. A fucking girl. A fucking girl, nigga. A fucking girl. A fucking. Wow. Now I didn't. I saw saw a little bit of this on the Breakfast Club, right? Mm. But yeah, I already know Styles is a friend of the show, you know. Um, and I. Th- th- that's my brother, man. You know, um, I we know each other from the streets. You know, we met um, on some industry shit, and then, you know, the streets has a way of bonding a relationship. Shout out to Kiss and Sheik. Uh, bully. Fucking uh, J Hud. Me no man, fucking, just everyone that added, and that was a part of that process with those with those brothers, man. They're really good brothers, and they do a lot of strong things for the community. And that wasn't a publicity stunt by no way possible, people. I I need y'all to really understand that's who that that brother is, you know. Um, and I I I commend him. Because let me tell you, it, it goes deeper than just this video. If you don't follow Styles P, um, follow him on Instagram. Because after this incident, later on that evening, he posted a video talking to the youth and telling the youth how he let his anger get the best of him in the midst of that situation and how he wants them to think better because they could have gotten hurt, clapped, murdered, shot, or anything in that nature. So it's right there. 
It's right there. This one right yeah, here. Yeah, you know. Um, so and it's it's a it's a very lengthy one. Oh and yeah. So that's how I know it was from his heart. It was no it was no bullshit. But what was extra crazy is um, you know, the king called me, uh, the other day when I was getting my feet and my 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 nails done, and and you know, uh, he does his pop up shop every other uh Saturday, um. I'm gonna get all that information out to you guys. You gotta go check him out. He's in the community. He's hands on, man. Um, but he called me and and we were talking about some business. But I know he was still like not pleased with himself, and I had to let him know what he did was he- heroic. Um, and you know, especially for our women. Our women, they're in an illmatic fucking battle right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know I talk a lot of shit. You know, that's part of my motherfucking avatar up here about the bitches and all that shit. But uh, let's 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 just be a hundred right now. Our women, our foundations, because that's what they are. The women are the foundation, okay? They're under attack right now by our government. And I want to say this to our men. Our protection lies in the protection of our women. So if they needed us at any time, now is the time more than ever. We have to start getting back into that root. We got to start getting back into that understanding between man and woman. We got to start protecting our women for real, for real, man. Let these bitches do what they doing, <laughs> but our women... Our women, man, come on. We got to protect the foundation. We ain't going to go out that route. Nah, I'm dead serious, man. I'm not feeling this shit with the, um, with the abortion. Um, I, you know, like, that. get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Like, who gives, who gives these six fucking people, is it six people in the, um, and the um and oh, the man, I'm gonna feel dumb. I don't know. I, I I'm no I'm idea. I'm going. I'm I'm feeling Dave Smith this <laughs> right now. I'm going with six. There's gotta be six of them in there. I'm going with six. Um, I hope I'm right. <laughs> I put You're Dave. Find out. Oh my god, it's gotta be five or six, something like that. But I'm gonna go with six. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go six, man. How many how many of those people? Watch this. Watch this, y'all. What did you just say it's going to make me count? So dumb. Mm. Nine. Nine. All right. But I was in the, you see what I'm saying? If it was divided in threes, <laughs> I was still in the ballpark, you know? All right. But listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> All right. But, no, nah, I know that was All right. But check this shit out. You mean to tell me? I don't know, people. Maybe I'm bugging. But for our women's sake, can I just, I don't know, express this? Nine fucking people can make a decision on humanity's natural process over everything else. Am I bugging? But who the fuck are these nine people to tell a woman those women, if they did not vote for the sake of these women having the freedom of their body, the shame on them. Protect our women, man.
Protect our fucking women, man. Like, that's some whole shit right there. So when I see brothers like Styles P standing up for a woman in the community, and 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 I don't want y'all to take this as you know a bashing of the police. I really just think that because there was something that Styles said that I think people miss. And this is a real situation. He told the officer. You're scared. I know you're scared. You're not from here. So you're scared. You don't know how to deal with us. You gotta understand, they got police officers coming from I not the community interacting with the community. And all these niggas know is what they what they're dealing with interacting with on the job in Fox 5 News. So it makes the 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 communicational barriers between the community and the officers a weird one. We got to we got to figure that part out. But we got to figure out how we give our women the power that they're entitled to, that it's been God-given. You're bugging out here. You're bugging. I'm sorry, man. I, I, I don't know. I, you know, I'm not political or none of this shit. I'll tell you one thing, man. Where's Donnie when you need him? <laughs> I'm sorry for dominating G Money talk okay. with that little episode right there. How do you f- how you feel about it, G Money? I mean, it's it's fucked up, you know. I mean, oh, oh, honestly, like overall, I'm a person who thinks like state to state should handle a lot of things, but abortion not not being one of those things, definitely not. And uh, it's fucked. And hopefully that will get overturned. I don't know how that works now because that was something that's been overturned. But hopefully people in those states that haven't voted on it, they'll try to vote on it next time around. I don't oh, know. We, oh, we do something. We got to get right, man. We got to get right. That's all I know, man. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a segue. Protect to get our to women. Thing. Protect our women, man. That's what it's all about. Protection. You know? Mm-hmm. And when I talk about protecting our women, I mean protecting our women like this next video and G Money. If you ain't trying to protect our women like this, then nigga, you a part of the problem. That's a fact. (laughs) 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 Both. I saw this online. I saw this online, nigga. I I mean, listen, listen, listen. I you know I I want us to protect our women like that, but that's a fan. That's a fan, and I know, I know. After the whole Dave Chappelle thing, I know, (laughs) I know, I know. After the whole Will Smith, Chris Rock, I know. But look at dude, the shirt. Look at the shirt he's wearing. Yeah, look how look at the outfit. You can <laughs> tell this nigga's not a threat. He was look, he just wanted to be there, dude. <laughs> that was not cool, man. And then those niggas slung him. That it's not yeah, nigga. It's too extra. It's too extra, bro. Look at this shit. Press play. Look at baby. Baby don't even know what to do. <laughs> Hope that guy's all right, man. Yeah. They uh I guess they're they're not playing with that after fucking after the Chappelle thing. Like I saw I mean rappers too, like fucking People are getting them, you know, when they're out and about anyway. And then fucking someone's going to run on stage like they don't. That's a security's job is to protect them. But they 
They didn't I hope, need to I hope shove that guy. Is up. Yeah, like they could have like put that. one hand on that guy and dragged him away. Why well, nobody's shoving like that in the Supreme Court for these women? Facts. Okay. I don't know. I'm just I'm just saying some things. All right. What do we got next here? Something. Uh, this is, uh, I don't have a video for this, but uh, we're. I thought of it. We were uh, talking about Styles P before. I watched the. DMX has a great documentary on HBO Max. I forget what it's called. I think it's like Music Box. I think that's like a series that they do. And there's one on DMX following him like his last year on tour. There's a camera going with him. And we've seen a video of DMX before on the show that we watched. And in this documentary, you see it at least three times that DMX loves having heartfelt conversations with random strangers. Like, there's, like, a good, like, 15 minutes total dedicated in this movie to, dim, like, yo, man, I love you. Like, just, like, having, like, a heart-to-heart with just some random that's person who, that's who on was. tour. And fucking, like. Except for it was me. He had me wait for, like, two hours. And I was like, right. <laughs> no doubt, right? <laughs> right. Oh, him and his wife had on the same army suits. It's it crazy <laughs> night. Crazy night, bro. Oh, shit. Um, this next video Blue I have. Blue fatigue. <laughs> Blue fatigue. With the S1W boots. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'll never forget it. Oh, shit. Um, this next video I have. Um, these videos we talk about a lot. Um, you know, people trying to share the planet just with each other, with the human race. But we forget that we're sharing this with animals, too. And not always just for our entertainment. Like, we're, we're up in their shit sometimes, and they, they don't like that. So mm-hmm. here we go. Mm-hmm. These seal, these, I think they're sea lions are <laughs> clearing the beach <laughs> of all these people. I don't know if it's someone in particular that they're going after, but they fucking. <laughs> I'm with that, yo. Come on, man. Y'all niggas go take this up all year long. <laughs> we ain't gonna get no time in. Y'all bugging. Chill. Nah, I'm out. Come on. Respect our space. Give us some time. <laughs> y'all wasn't even fucking with the waters until y'all started seeing commercials and shit <laughs> like that. We've been out here. Oh, shit. Oh, where'd that go? Fuck. This last video is, uh, is fucking crazy. It's, um, it, it's from a while ago. It's from 2018, but the footage has just recently come out, the security footage of uh, a guy in Seattle who hijacked a plane just by himself and, like, just took a plane off the the track and started riding it. It's just released video that sheds new light on a notorious crime, the hijacking of an airplane by the baggage handler. I've played video games before, so I, uh, you know, I know what I'm doing a little bit. Richard Russell worked at the Seattle-Tacoma airport. The new video shows him going through security, wearing a T-shirt that reads, The Sky's No Limit. Then he tows an empty Alaska Airlines 70-seater plane and positions it to face the runway. But look what happens when he unhitches the tow line. The plane starts moving forward with no one at the controls. Incredibly, Russell runs alongside, gets the door to open, runs up the steps, and shuts the door behind him. Five minutes later, he takes off. Get the fuck out of here! I've been in a predicament. I'm in the air right now. Did you just take off? Yeah. And you're not supposed to be on that aircraft? Uh, no. What followed was a homeland security nightmare. Russell flew the plane around Seattle for an hour, even doing aerobatics. National Guard fighter jets were scrambled in fear that terrorists were on board. Russell's communication with air traffic control was a forecast of what was about to happen. I wouldn't know how to land it. I wasn't really planning on landing it. The 2018 drama ended when Russell crashed the plane onto a remote island, killing himself. Several years ago, Russell posted video of his work day as a baggage handler. Look at all them bags. Ooh, a purple one. Outwardly, he and his wife seemed happy, but he was fighting inner demons, as he revealed in this haunting exchange with air traffic control. Just a broken guy. Got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it until now. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I don't even... <sighs> Pfft. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> I I pff, that's some real white people shit right <laughs> there, dog. I wow. I don't know why, but the first, when I was first watching this, a part of me was I was surprised when I found out he crashed. But like that should have been obvious from the start that this guy who didn't know what he was doing, I was like, "Oh, he crashed!" Like I didn't, <laughs> I did not think he was going to crash. No. Mm, mm, mm. All right, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, well, you know, <clears throat> that's a lesson. If you don't know how to fucking fly a plane and you've only been playing it on video games, do not get in a real fucking plane and try to fly it. Yuck. What else we got? Oh man, this is so cute. <laughs> I I don't know why I'm playing this on this show. This don't really fit the cri- t- the criteria, <laughs> but this is so cute. <laughs> this is a cute alert, y'all. This is so cute, especially. It's just something about kids lying. <laughs> it's so adorable when they're so young and they lie. Oh, you practicing? <laughs> you're about to get in the game? You think you're getting away with it right oh, now? <laughs> they going to go fuck around with the, pe- the the pickle hot sauce or something, the pickle <laughs> sauce. Uh, go ahead, press play. Nova. Who ate it? Me, man. Who ate it? Me, man. Who ate it? Me, man. Nova. You didn't eat none? No. You didn't eat none? No. Did you eat some, Nova? No. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Did you touch it? No. No. Did you touch it, Nova? No. 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 Did you eat some of this? No. Really? No. No, he go, he go with his sister flow. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I'll write that work. Yo, I, I see a point here where the little girl sees it she looks over at her brother and realizes he's nervous and then that's when she turns on the no she's like oh this he's gonna take the fall that's take it back, <laughs> take it back. he's so cute Did take it. it back nova me. who ate it me man who ate it me man oh she's nervous who right here me, nova. now he looks nervous you didn't eat none you didn't eat none? Watch no. the girl look at him. Did you eat some, Nova? No. <laughs> Did you touch it? No. Did you touch it, Nova? No. no. Did you eat some of this? No. Really? No. No. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yo. Fire. Fire. That's a lesson, you dumb niggas out here. Oh, when your shit. woman go with a flow, and that flow <laughs> seems to be keeping everything dangling and cool, you go with that flow. Ow! Ow! Oh, shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, yo, yo, chill. So, um, you know, mommy getting older and, um, she getting more feistier. I was hanging out with mommy the other day and y'all know I had to get some of this. It's been a while since I heard from mommy. So, um, I wanted to give y'all some of me and mommy hanging out, talking our shit. Um, all right, uh, G-Money, if they wanted to get in contact with us and communicate with us in any way, forward, or fashion, because there's no following Bobby. Oh. On the show. <laughs> <laughs> so if they wanted to get in touch, communicate, interact with the show in any way, forward, or fashion, how can they do that? Uh, they could send us an email, fireintheholeny at gmail.com. They could follow the show on Twitter and Instagram, at fireintheholeny. Um, they could follow us on YouTube, get the clips of the show and the audio version of the show, but you only get the video version of the show at patreon.com slash fire in the hole where you get mommy footage and all sorts of bonus stuff like that also. And um Oh yeah, yeah I niggas know how to holler at me, man. I'm regular. Nine one seven seven nine two one five nine three. Just holler. Still same number, same hood. It's all good. Baby 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 <laughs> All right. And uh, after we close out the show, though, I am going to play a song from. Uh, from uh, uh, Oh, that would be perfect yeah. to follow mommy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> should I introduce it after we come back or should I just play it after? <laughs> 
This is uh, I'll, I'll come back to it. <laughs> I love you. Want to do it? Here's mommy. Weed up in here. Oh no, just hey, nobody's allowed to smoke weed in here. Why don't you stop Except for me. Why don't you stop yelling, man? I'm just I'm letting you know, mom, because I, I brought I brought the weed for weed us. Either. I brought the weed for us. I don't smoke weed, I mean anybody smoking weed in But my what do you house. mean smoke weed, mom? But we've been smoking weed forever, mom. When did you stop? Hey, that's not my problem. But when did you stop? But when did you stop? You know, I'm, a, I'm 70 fucking years old, and I'm not gonna be aggravated the rest of my Mommy. life. Mommy, Mommy, that's so why I brought man, weed. Man, that's why man. I brought weed to calm us down. I don't down. want it. I don't want it. So when did you quit? I've been quit about two years, two years or something ago. Oh, all right. Then say that to me, cause I be buying the weed, and I be smoking and thinking, maybe you don't want none right now. <laughs> oh, so you a city girl now? You a city girl? All right. <laughs> Here. People live downstairs. I'm, my, I didn't go to work four or five o'clock in the morning. I get, I can't have all that noise up there. No, After Bobby, tonight, I'm done. I'm okay. fucking done. All right. You know what, Ma? I'm gonna. All right. I go to people's house to give them out the utmost respect. Mommy, I came here to check on you. Stop it on the dance floor. People know Ma, do you there. see my knee? Look at my knee. My knee's a fucked up, too. You don't got a bump on your knee, and you don't got hot fluids in it. <laughs> Let me see your knees. I'm not, I'm not even getting my bed. No, I don't need this aggravation. I really Did don't. Selena do your room over, Ma? Do you got the pink room? Yes, like the Nicki pink, Minaj? The pink room. Huh? <laughs> I'm not in the mood for that bullshit now. I'm, I'm really not. No, I'm I not. heard you got a pink room. Like you, you a Barbie. So what? So you a Barbie now. So you down with Nicki Minaj and I'm the not, Barbs. I'm not down with none of them. So I thought you was a Barb. Then why Selena made it pink? I wasn't here when she paid in my fucking room, all right? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, then. As long as I know now. All right. You, did you get your Lucy's, Ma? Roddy Pop, where's Mommy Lucy's? Why are you fucking so loud? <laughs> I, I can't hear you. You're the fucking one that's putting me the fuck out of here. Yo, why is she going to tell me I'm loud? Did she get louder? I'm going to go to work in the guy down and I'm going to get up at 6 o'clock. I'm going to be Okay, mommy. I was well, just trying to get your Lucy's. I, I have to get your Lucy's before I go. Lottie Pop, did you get mommy Lucy's? Mommy, can you get your Lucy's, please? The stores are closed across the street. Lottie Pop, <laughs> I love when when mommy. Is trying to just tell you no, and then she gives up and answers the question how you want. She's trying to ignore the room thing. I'm like, Mommy, why is your room thing? I wasn't here when she paid in the room. <laughs> You're going to keep asking about oh the fucking room. Oh, my God, man. This lady's epic, man. This lady's epic. She's a maniac. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hey, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming back for another week. All right, well, we're, 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 back. we're glad to be back for another week. I know we took a week off, but hey, we're back. <laughs> we're back Easy again. Out. We're back again. <laughs> we're back. We are the most. This is a weird secretary. <laughs> secretary of defense. You don't hear from the secretary of defense all the time. You know, you they know, pop in, they pop out, you know. You know what? Just... Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, man. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> And with that being said, man, I hope I hope that you did hear what I was talking about. Watch the games that the air playing out here. Uh, they're trying to strip our women of their power, the power of their choice. It's unfair. We got to do right, man. We had some Patreon action. Danny Jeter's back. That's, that's that mother- fucking maniac. Shout out to Danny Jeter. No motherfucking doubt. <laughs> Good call. Fire in the hole. And with that being said, man, yo, G Money, man, you played this song for me <laughs> when we was riding around. Oh, G Money, you got your car back. Oh shit. <laughs>
care. Let's give us some extra time. <laughs> we gotta talk about this, dude. Oh, we gotta shit. talk about your dad. <laughs> we gotta talk about this. What happened? I got my car stolen li- yeah. last week. That was why. That is why the episode is late this week. We actually did. That's right. We have a good excuse this week. We don't even remember. We're so used to fucking being late. We had a real excuse. <laughs> Wait, we just didn't give a fuck. We, you know, like they felt. Yeah, we were nah, defeated. <laughs> nah, but not nah, tell them what happened. I went into my, my parents' house and down the shore. You know, I leave my keys in the car sometimes down there. You know, I I, I feel safe. I. Feel a little too safe. White people shit. Man. White people I shit. Came home that. from my friend's house at three in the morning. Mm-hmm. Left my fucking keys in the car. Didn't think nothing of it. For some reason, I decided to take my camera out of the back. Just because I thought it'd be hot the next morning or whatever. Fucking six o'clock, my dad was up because he's retired and likes to be up at five in the morning. And he's like, did you drive home last night? Like thinking I was like hammered or some shit and got a ride. I was like, yeah, my car's in the driveway. He's like, no, it's not. I'm like. Right. The, yeah, it is. You know, <laughs> no, it isn't. And like, dad, I drove home last night, and my dad really was making me feel like I was fucking nuts. <laughs> like he was really having me. Like I was dead sober. Like I, I smoked a bowl at some point that night, but like that's not fucking not sober for me. You know what I mean? Like I was not drunk. I fucking drove my car home that night, and my dad's like, "Are you sure?" And I'm like, really second guessing myself. Like. No, I definitely had my keys. Definitely, like, it could be someone else's fucking car. He was really asking me that much. But my car was fucking gone by 5.30 that morning. And fucking had no fucking, like, the last thing I would expect. I would expect someone to go through and take the change before I would expect someone to actually steal my fucking car. Fucking. <laughs> I was, yeah, yeah, I don't even know, because we got into the car accident the week before that. Oh, yeah. And so when the car got stopped, I said, who wants this piece of shit? What's going on here? What is the universe telling us? <laughs> but he found the car. But what I had, um, yes. what, what made me bring up the I, car. I know, I know where you're going. We were. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. sorry no, it's okay. Well, go ahead. Oh, you go ahead. Were you talking about my dad? Is that what you were going to oh, say? Go ahead. Dude. Okay. Well, because, I mean, I took it. My dad was taking a lot worse than me. Like, he was driving all around fucking Ocean County, New Jersey, like, like looking for my car. Where could it be? Because... Oh, he got time. Yeah, he had nigga. time. He's retired. He got fucking time. The cops said that they're around by me. They're stealing <sighs> shitty cars, then going looking for nicer cars, dumping that car, stealing the nice car. So my dad's looking for in the woods, going, like, down side streets. Where could they put this car? He texts the cop that took our report. If you were to dump a car, where would you where would you dump it? <laughs> the cop's like, I don't know. I think he thinks I don't know, LOL, to my dad. But the crazy <laughs> shit is, y'all, y'all won't believe where they found the car at, my niggas. Around the corner. Around the fucking corner from my parents' house. Nothing gone. Nothing gone with my weed. The That's... battery was dead and my weed was gone. And that was it. Well, so, you know, with a car like that, it's got to have a fucking awesome motherfucking um, an anthem. <laughs> an anthem. A story like that with a car like that, it's got to have a fucking anthem. Well, prior to his car getting stolen, um, you know, you guys know I love my rock and roll and my fucking post-punk and emo and all that shit. I, uh... <laughs> he played me... One of his fucking buddies' bands, and let me tell you something. I fucking dug it. So when G Buddy was like, "Yo, I want to play this shit at the end of the night," I was like, "Nothing could really fall on mommy." But then when he said what it was, I was like, "You know what? That could fall on mommy." So I don't know, G Money man, maybe you want to introduce this. Yeah, you know, set us out with this man. This is the uh, this new single from. Uh Alone I Stand. You can follow them on Instagram at Alone I Stand underscore. And their new uh, EP in backgrounds is on streaming services everywhere. And this is uh, Silesia on Ice. So guys, go go to their Instagram. Let, let them know you're with the Firing Squad. Show them some love. Just get some likes on this. Stream their shit. And uh, fuck yeah. Let's do it, guys. See you next week. I'm calling quote from the
arrangements on this is fire nigga oh my god yo make sure y'all motherfuckers go and get that new travis mccoy never slept better out motherfucker july 15th it's already out niggas go and get that until next week y'all already know what it is yo play that shit blast that shit nigga that's my shit